Hey, what's going on everybody? It's me, Dakota here for another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you why the first gen CRVs are absolutely hidden gems for overlanding and off-roading. For those of you all who are new to my channel, this is my first gen CRV. It's the all-wheel drive model. It's lifted three inches and it has the one and a half inch subframe drop from HRG. I put bigger wheels and tires on it. This thing actually does fantastic off-road. I took it to Hidden Falls Adventure Park the other weekend and as you can see, it actually did pretty good. Also, I just gotta say, these things are extremely underrated because the aftermarket support on these CRVs is just insane. First gen, second gen, even third gens. Like I said, from the company HRG, they offer kits, honestly, you can raise anything from a Honda CRV, Honda Pilot, to even your Honda Odyssey if you feel like it. Plus, you have lighting options like crazy. I have these up here in the front, the ditch lights. There's multiple companies that makes this. There's also options that go all around your roof rack, which is honestly pretty crazy, like front side chase. It is insane. Plus, Amazon roof basket is always for the win. And as you can see, this thing has some pretty good ground clearance. Then another pretty cool thing, honestly, in my opinion, is you have a full-size spare in the back that you can put another wheel on. You don't have to buy a rear swing out arm or another adapter or anything like that. It comes like this from the factory. Starting off here in the interior for an old car like this, you actually get quite a bit of features for not a lot of money. You get rear reclining seats. You get armrest for the rear. Storage like crazy. This folds down. Armrest in the front. Tons of space. And everything just feels like it was built right. So one cool thing about all of these CRVs is that you can either do this, fold the seats down like normal at CVs, just haul something back here. But let's say you want to spend the night in it and you just have a base model. Pull this up, fold this down, and boom, do that on both sides. And you have a basic area, you can put an air mattress, and you can actually sleep in this thing. Now the cool part, I'm going to show you, check this out. I don't exactly know what this package is called, forgive me. I think it's called the pa uh, camper package, but check out what I could do with the rear seat and front seat. So if your car has this package, you'll have this little handle right here. And what you do is you lift up on it because you can lift it up, fold the seat all the way flat, fold the front seat flat, take off the headrest. And as you can see, you do that on both sides. You have yourself a whole bed you can sleep on. And trust me, when I say it's comfortable, like I camped in this thing at Hidden Falls and oh my God, it was actually so relaxing because we have a little fan, we had string lights. You can really do anything in these cars and it is just awesome. Now coming around to the back, as you can see, this thing is cool because the rear hatch glass opens up and it is a two piece tailgate and it swings out. So you can either have that closed and have that open kind of like a forerunner. Or, as you can see, you can have your whole party set up out here. Plus, check this out. Check this out if you were going to buy a CRV because they come with a table. And you really do get a lot of versatility because, as you can see, not only with the table, you have these little tie down points here, have one right here. And some come with this thing right here that goes on the hatch and keeps it completely from not closing on you so you can keep it open all day long. Another thing that people really don't know about these cars is after you take out the table, you can really use this as an ice chest. And those are a few reasons I'm pretty sure you can tell why I love this car, but also it is a budget hidden gem overlander. Plus, I will say this, when you're buying one of these cars, make sure it has the real time four wheel drive. If they took that off for some reason, just come under here, check out for that rear differential and you'll tell if it's front wheel drive or not. Plus they have factory mud flaps. Another cool thing you can do, me personally, what I did is I used all my dummy switches pretty much. Now these are for both my lights and the front, but I mean, it's like it was built for this. Another thing I wanna say about why these are underrated and also just absolute gems is that yes, this one's all wheel drive and this is the main off-roader. We have another CRV on the channel. As you can see, it's a silver one. That one's my fiance's. Now, we got that one before we got this one. It is front wheel drive, but we took it to the beach. We've taken it on some dirt trails. And I mean, it's light off-roading, yeah, but at the same time, in the beach and the sand, we didn't get stuck one time. That thing is super capable, and it has all the same features as this one had, including the table and the ice chest. 
Now, another reason why I want to make this video and show off why these are just truly hidden gems, besides all the cool stuff you get with this car, the Honda reliability and everything, how capable they are, honestly, is the price. I mean, these things, the first gens are just hidden gems, like seriously. So I got this one lifted, subframe drop, bigger tires. We did everything else to the car, but that being said, clean title. I paid $2,800 for this thing. So that being said, hop on Facebook Marketplace, hop on Craigslist. These things are going in great condition. Plus also, I forgot to mention you can get a five-speed manual. These things are in great shape. You can really do a lot to them for really less than four grand to just get into the overlanding scene. So that being said, y'all, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video, but I just wanted to show off how capable these things are and honestly, the value you get with these cars. They're great entries into overlanding and off-roading. That's exactly what I did with this one. It opened up the door to show me what overlanding was. And I mean, I'm hooked. I love going outdoors. I love camping. I love going on trails. So this opened a new chapter in me that I never even knew I wanted to get into. And here we are. So again, go pick up a CRV. These things are awesome. But that being said, thank you all for watching. And as you all know on the channel, I do everything. Now we do off-roading overlanding. I got my Drift Mustang and I got my S2000, Integra, CRV. I don't know what I'll get next, but that's why I've had so many cars. So again, thank y'all for sticking around. Hit the like and subscribe button if you want to help support me and also follow the craziness that I'm going on. And I appreciate it. Have a good one.